My name is Jimmy Shuttlewood and I'm a head gamekeeper on the North Yorkshire Moors and I have the opportunity to be part of the world's most successful conservation effort, which is moor management. The most important part of that is the heather. If the heather's right, everything else is right. 75% of the world's heather is in the British Isles, so it's really, really unique. Managed moor burning is a really pro way of looking after your moor. By not burning your moor, you end up with an awful lot of flammable mini timber which potentially is going to go in one great big fire and you're burning it to create fire breaks. We're trying to create a mosaic of different types of um, habitat by letting the heather grow in different stages and different ages. We've got to be very careful how we do it so we don't want to burn it when, it when it's too dry. Also a lot of the ground nesting birds may not be completely finished with their nesting process so we'll start, start in October and what I look at is heather that will regenerate fairly quickly. I'm looking for a burn that's not going to be too hot. The ground wants to be nice and wet still. Even though it's 2000 degrees centigrade, as soon as you get under the soil, it's not, it's not very hot at all. The advantage of cool burn is that your heather will grow back quickly. It leaves any mosses that are there. The key thing to keeping the risks down to the minimum is the time of year that you burn and the conditions of the weather in that period of time. Once we burn this heather, which is the new shoots we really want to see, and they're the most nutritious to anything that's going to feed off the heather. I've also got specialised equipment. Uh, we have uh, mobile based power washers. Commonly used today is, is gas burners. We also have some uh, older tools, heather beaters. Perhaps about five or six years we've been using leaf blowers. And that's been a massive help for putting the flames out. We've also got some guidelines put in by Natural England, a government body, which they have certain concerns. We, we have agreements with those that, that we burn it in a certain way. It's also supporting lots of rare species of birds as well. And I can see a thriving environment of, of, of curlew, grouse, golden plover, and everything else that goes with it. And I can stand back and look and see the, the, the effects of my conservation work. The more professional you are, and the more experienced you are, the more you're going to be able to do. And you've got to know what equipment you've got to deal with it. And you've got to know your own abilities. Also, we employ people to help us Heather Burn as well. So it's part of keeping our communities together. A fire is the beginning of new life. So when we're burning our mower, we're creating life, we're creating a future, we're creating future habitats.